Hello, my name is Luke Finney and welcome to the first video in Engineering Design Graphics brought to you in part by the Keenan Fund. Now, let's set up our page and get ready to draw. For the early drawings, we are, will be using primarily two pencils. A layout pencil, that's a 3H, and a darker pencil for heavy lines and shading, that's your B pencil. Now, first step, make sure your pencils are sharp. Feel free to replay this section as often as you'd like. Practice, practice until it's easy. You want to cut the two broad sides of your pencil, then cut a taper into the tip, then cut the two narrow sides and scrub out so that you have a nice smooth tip to you. Remember to do this on a scratch piece of paper so you don't muddy your drawing with graphite dust. The next thing we will do is set up our drawing sheet. It's important to set up a good workspace for yourself. Um, have a sketchbook that you use or uh, a desk surface for drawing uh, and to tape down your sheet. Next, draw a bounding box. This is so that when we draw right to the edge of the page, we don't draw off the edge of the page. The next step is to use your layout pencil to draw the underlying geometry of the part or object that we are trying to depict. Make these lines quick seeking, repetitive. Don't worry about getting them right the first time. The goal here is to lay down the lines that you will follow with your next step. The next step is to take your darker pencil and to find the lines that really make up the object. I call these the visible lines uh, and those are the lines that you're going to insist on as you work through the chicken scratch of uh, construction lines. Find the ones that are correct and use short precise motions of your wrist to mark them. Next, draw the profile lines. These are the lines that are silhouetted against open space and help to give our drawings a sense of volume. Then add hidden lines, center lines, and the various other lines that we will cover in a minute. This allows us to really dial in the properties of the subject. Finally, you can add some shading or uh, other more impressionistic things. Uh, enjoy your drawing and remember to clean up some of that uh, construction work from early on to give your drawing a finished look. Now let's lay down a clean sheet of paper and review the line types you may want to use in your drawing. Remember, whenever we start a new drawing, sharpen your pencils so that they're all ready to go and don't slow you down. Now, the construction line. Those are our quick lines find the underlying geometries within which the object is circumscribed. Our visible lines, those are the lines that we insist upon uh, as the outline of an object or artifact. Next, we have the profile lines. The profile line is an important depth cue and is going to be your darkest, heaviest line. After that, we have hidden lines. Hidden lines are a way of showing what is behind or not in the current view of the object. Center lines allow us to locate circular holes and or circular parts uh, as well as ovals and other uh, objects that depend on centers for their location and dimension. We show dimensions with two liters and a number between them as well as lines showing the offset from the part. Those are called extension lines. Phantom lines are a long double short dash 
and they are how we show something that isn't in a certain location. The phantom line indicates displacement or motion. We use a break line when the entirety of an object won't fit on the page, and we use it to indicate that there is more beyond the edge of our drawing. A section cut line we will get into when we talk about how to cut a section. That's it for lesson one. You've learned some line types and how to set up your tools and keep your pencil sharp. Thank you for watching and enjoy the drawing.